One of you has done something amazing. And that person is Twitter user at Mr. Knuckleball, who alerted me on August 25th that they were working on a Sporkle quiz to celebrate four years of baseball bits. Then they followed up with the completed quiz on September 4th. And I was thinking to myself, well, what kind of quiz takes 10 days to make? And then I saw it. It's a quiz of all players who have been mentioned five or more times in baseball bits, and we're going to play it. I mean, there's 56 episodes of baseball bits, so I can't even imagine how long this took. I'm also not really sure what constitutes a mention. Would it be me saying the player's name out loud, or could a mention just be them appearing on one of the many stat graphics? We'll have to see. I don't want time to be a factor here. I'm going to play until this gets excruciating, but hopefully I can get all of them. And if you want to play, go ahead and play, and then go back and watch this video, and then comment on how well you did. Okay, I've got the quiz rolling underway now, and I've noticed that the players that I've mentioned the most, I've mentioned a little over 100 times. We've got 109 mentions, 106, 105. It's interesting to see the distribution of the episodes, because I have one player here, even though I've mentioned them 67 times, I've mentioned them in 22 different episodes, so that's really interesting. I think what I'm going to do is try to get some of those top players, and then I'm going to start working my way through chronologically. Okay, so I'm going to guess at 109, I'm going to guess the player that I have mentioned the most is Shohei Otani. Okay, that's actually the third most. Interesting. So if not Shohei Otani, how about Albert Pujols? Okay, that's number one. Way to go, Albert. And then 106. I'm going to guess that is... My, could it be Mike Trout? Okay, he's fourth. So then it's got to be Justin Verlander, right? Ooh, no. Okay, who's the player I've mentioned a hundred times that's not Pujols or Otani or Trout or Verlander? Babe Ruth? No, there's no way. I mean, I've definitely mentioned him, but not nearly that much. How many times have I mentioned Babe Ruth? 39. This player's been mentioned in 13 episodes, so almost a quarter of them. Any chance of it being like Tim LaCastro? No, I've mentioned Tim LaCastro 42 times and only, I mean, only in two different episodes, and I think that checks out. Maybe Juan Soto? Nope, I've mentioned Juan Soto 43 times in five different episodes. It's very nice of you to call this a hit YouTube series. That's very generous of you. I really want to get this 106 mentioned, and then I'm going to start going through it a little bit more chronologically, starting from the beginning. Uh, what about Barry Bonds? Okay, that's who it is. Well, there you go. So I'm starting to think this is more based on me saying them out loud, and then maybe the stat graphics as well, because I don't feel like I've said Barry Bonds' name in 13 different episodes 106 times, but... Obviously, if you're doing any sort of hitting leaderboard, he's going to be near the top of it. All right, I'm going to start doing this a little bit more chronologically now. So the first episode of Baseball Bits is uh, the worst call ever, or is it? And so your main characters in that are Julio Lugo, who I mentioned 11 times. Uh, the catcher was Daniel McCutcheon. And was it Daniel? It was something. Oh, that put two McCutcheon. Hmm, okay. It's baseball players only. I don't have to do managers or umpires or executives. Okay, um, the hitter, I believe, was Scott Proctor, right? So does he get mentioned enough? No, okay. So it's it's just going to be Julio Lugo, hopefully, for that first episode. The next was the one you probably know me by a little bit better. That's the Verlander episode. We already have him. Who else appears in that episode? I believe the hitters in that episode are Estrubal Cabrera. Okay, no. Jason Kipnis. Okay, Jason Kipnis uh, has nine mentions across four total episodes. And then the other is, I believe, Shin Su Chu. All right, I'm just going to do a test right here, just so I know ahead of time. Will it take last name only? So I'm going to do Mathis for Jeff Mathis. Okay, it will take last name only. So I know people get annoyed when I do that, but I don't know. Maybe I should do full name just so people know exactly who I'm talking about. By the way, I've mentioned Jeff Mathis 64 times across four different episodes. All right, so next, I think, was like some of the Larry Walker stuff, maybe. So we're going to go Larry Walker, who is a Hall of Famer. How many times have I mentioned Larry Walker? 21 times across four episodes. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., I believe, gets mentioned in that episode. Ken Griffey Jr., yes, he's mentioned eight times. Only eight times, a little bit surprising, across three episodes. Uh, who else? Todd Helton. Okay, Todd Helton has been mentioned six times across that one episode. Interesting. I'm learning so much about my own work. Okay, I did the, like, Mariano Rivera, Araldis Chapman video. 
uh, around this time. So I'm going to go Mariano Rivera. Uh, let's see how many times. 43 times across nine episodes. Aroldis Chapman. How about him? Again, I'm really just typing the full name so you know exactly who I'm talking about. And some of these players I imagine will be kind of obscure. Aroldis Chapman, 19 times across three episodes. Uh, Luis Gonzalez would be a good one. He's mentioned seven times in that episode. Good, good, good. Uh, Derek Jeter would be in that episode. Derek Jeter has been mentioned 17 times across 10 episodes. Um, Scott Brocious, maybe? No. Oh, Tony Womack, though, right? 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 Tony Womack? Yes. Okay, Tony Womack has been mentioned five times across two episodes. I, I know which ones those are. That's definitely the, uh, well, the Game 7 episode, and then also the, uh, you know, Championship Win Probability added episode. Okay, did a video about Ichiro around then. I'm not sure if this is in perfect order. I'm just trying to remember everything I did. These take, you know, two to three weeks of my life, uh, kind of at a minimum. Uh, I've mentioned Ichiro 52 times across five episodes. I remember Tori Hunter being mentioned in that episode, although I don't really remember the, uh, the context, but apparently I haven't mentioned him five times. Okay, did my first video about Otani around then as well. I would have also mentioned, like, Brendan McKay... Or Michael Lorenzen. Okay, they're not they're not getting on there. Um, I'm trying to think of anyone else it could be, right? Okay, we're gonna skip that. I also mentioned uh, did Old Haas Radborn around this time. I've mentioned Old Haas Radborn 38 times across five episodes. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, Charlie Sweeney maybe gets five mentions in that episode. Yes, he does. He gets six mentions in that episode. You can't get that past me. He was the pitcher who quit on uh, that Providence team. I'm also going to go Tim Keefe. Oh, no way. I'm shocked by that. I would have figured I would have mentioned him at least five times just because I think he's such a fraud. Let's just make sure, like, no no Will White or anything like that. No, okay. All right, what else was I doing around that time? Uh, maybe, like, the slow pool holes episode. So maybe, the, like, Victor... Martinez, right, right, or someone like Fast, like surely Billy Hamilton, I mean, probably two Billy Hamiltons, to be honest, uh, okay, so we have Billy Hamilton, 13 mentions across three episodes, I, f I figure I would probably have mentioned the other Billy Hamilton, well, I mean, I'm not even sure which Billy Hamilton this is, you know, I'm not, even, I don't even know, there are two of them, they played about 100 years apart, they both stole a lot of bases, Okay, so as we got into that summer, I did, like, the Juan Soto episode. I already guessed him. I would guess Ted Williams probably also came up in that. Uh, Ted Williams I've mentioned 22 times across 10 episodes. Maybe Mel Ott as well. Mel Ott has been mentioned. He gets five mentions in one episode. I'm guessing that's the Juan Soto episode. You can go Alex Rodriguez as well. I'm just thinking of... You know, guys who had great age 19, age 20 seasons. I believe in Rodriguez's case, it's age 20. But seven mentions, five episodes, plus, you know, a lot of love on Foolish Bailey, let's be honest. Girl boss. About Tony Knigliaro. Doesn't make the cut. All right. Ty Cobb. I don't, I don't know why. Ty Cobb. Let's go Ty Cobb. How many times has Ty Cobb gotten a mention? Seven times across five episodes. Weird. The same numbers as A-Rod. Okay, also did my Clayton Kershaw vid around... Right now, I'm working around the summer of 2019. Uh, Clayton Kershaw, 57 mentions across nine seasons. Not nine seasons, nine episodes. Kershaw video, I compared him to a lot of other good pitcher peaks. So we can go with like, you know, we start filling it up. Chris Sale, right? 11 mentions, five episodes. Max Scherzer, right? How many times Max Scherzer gets some love? 14 times. 10 episodes, and then maybe the more historical guy. So let's go Walter Johnson. Walter Johnson, six mentions, five episodes. Let's go uh, Christy Mathewson. Nope, unless there's two T's in it. Nope, no Christy Mathewson love. Sorry about that, Christy Mathewson. Uh, Pedro, I mean, he got his own episode eventually. Oh, he's actually fifth. Good for him. 82 mentions across eight episodes. I mean, in my opinion, probably the best pitcher of all time. Randy Johnson... 10 mentions, 8 episodes, my most recent Greg Maddox, but I also probably would have mentioned Maddox in the Kershaw episode, so that's why I'm guessing him now. Greg Maddox, 67 mentions across 7 episodes, he is in the top 10. Uh, I can go ahead and guess Granky too. Zach Granky has received, let's see, 18 mentions across 7 episodes. Okay, I also did the Steven Strasberg video around this time, so we're going to guess Strasberg. 68 mentions across five episodes. I'm trying to think who else I would have even mentioned in that episode. Maybe like Carrie Wood or someone like that. Carrie Wood, nope. Mark Pryor, nope. 
Might as well go ahead and guess Bryce Harper now. Bryce Harper is uh, with 63 mentions across eight episodes, including his own dedicated episode. I'm curious to see who is going to have the most mentions among players who don't have an episode that is strictly based on them. Because if I mention them so much, then maybe I should make a video about them. Okay, I can also loop in. So I did the Mike Trout video around this time as well. This was about his draft. Strasburg, I believe, was the number one pick in that draft. And then maybe Dustin Ackley, number two. Okay, but no mention there. All right, I can't really think of anyone to guess for that Mike Trout episode. Other than Mike Trout. All righty, what else did I do around that time? I guess the future of baseball is international. So who would be in that? Puig? Let's go Puig. Puig has been mentioned, where is he? Seven times across two episodes. Who else? Roberto Clemente. Roberto Clemente has been mentioned 13 times across six episodes. Maybe Mini Minoso. Minoso? I guess not. That would be a good video. All right, so I, hopefully I've gone through every episode before the Tim LaCastro video now. So I've already guessed LaCastro, 42 mentions across two episodes, but who else would I have mentioned in that episode? I think Byron Buxton could have gotten some love in there. Six mentions across two episodes. Who else in the Tim LaCastro episode? Funnily enough, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is mentioned in that episode, so I can give him a shot here. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. mentioned eight times across seven episodes. Is there any love for, like, Huey Jennings in that episode? Not enough. Uh, is there any love for, like, even Tim Raines? Nope, nope, Tim Raines. I'm, that's upsetting. Okay, so after that, I think I did the Pujols and Lidge episode. Uh, already guessed Pujols. He's number one, so we can also guess Brad Lidge. Brad Lidge has been mentioned. Where is he? 46 times, but only in one episode. Okay, I did the, I guess it was 2011, right? 2011 draft video around this time. So top picks in that draft, Garrett Cole. How many mentions for Garrett Cole? Let's see here. 14 and five episodes. We can also guess his collegiate teammate, current persona non grata, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer has been mentioned seven times in four episodes. Uh, Javi Baez. Can we do Javier Baez? Yes, Javier Baez has been mentioned, not, not too often, I imagine, five times in three episodes. Francisco Lindor has been mentioned more, for sure, ten times in four episodes. Anthony Rendon was in that draft, so we can guess Anthony Rendon, Anthony Rendon. This part's tricky. you got to like kind of scan for their name. Where's Rendon? There he is, 14 times in four episodes for Anthony Rendon, same amount of mentions as Garrett Cole. We can also take some time here to guess Mookie Betts, who remains probably the best player in that draft. Nine mentions across seven episodes. Mookie's one of those players that could maybe use a little more love. I mean, when you're mentioning Jeff Mathis 64 times and Mookie Betts nine times, though, I mean, that really, that just kind of shows you what this series is about. I believe Tyler Glasnow was in that draft. Could be wrong on that, but he does have his own episode anyway, so we can go ahead and guess him. 41 mentions across four episodes. Trevor Story also in that draft. He gets nine mentions across four episodes. Blake Snell also in that draft. No mentions. Okay, so I think I'm I think I'm think done with that episode. So I think all that might be left, hopefully, for videos I made in 2019 would be the Astros cheating scandal. And I can't even remember if that came out in late 2019 or early 2020, but Astros cheating scandal. Who are the main characters in that? One of them, I believe, is going to be Danny Farquhar. I hope I spelled this right. Danny Farquhar. I can't think of another way to spell that so i'm just gonna say maybe i didn't mention danny farquhar five times uh carlos beltran right carlos beltran mm, interesting interesting uh what about even like brian mccann brian mccann 10 mentions across two episodes uh, jose altuve how many times for jose altuve seven times across four episodes george springer George Springer, eight times across four episodes. Uh, Marwan Gonzalez has gotten mentioned a few times, six times in six episodes. Okay, so we're definitely into 2020 now. I know Angelton Simmons' video would have come out in early 2020, so we can go ahead and guess him. Angelton Simmons, 47 mentions across three episodes. We can also start to guess some of the other all-time great defensive shortstops who would have appeared in that. Ozzie Smith, 
being one of them. How many mentions for Ozzy Smith? That's going to be 15 times in four episodes. Omar Vizquel has gotten plenty of mentions. 21 mentions in six episodes to be exact. That's got to be one of the highest numbers for someone without a dedicated episode. So far, it's Ted Williams with 22. But Aparicio. Okay, he's on there. Where is he? Six mentions in one episode. I'm guessing that is the Simmons episode. Okay, and how about Mark Belanger, who is also in the Earl Weaver episode? Ooh, no, no five mentions for Mark Belanger. I'm a little bit surprised. Okay, so I'm just trying to think about early 2020 here. Jeff Mathis video would have come out around this time. We've already guessed him. We could also take this time to guess Mike Napoli. Okay, I mentioned Mike Napoli 14 times in one episode. That is the Jeff Mathis episode. I think, I think I'm just going to start guessing the players without having to read, you know, all their mentions. I feel like that's kind of dragging on right now. So uh, Mike Napoli, who else would be in that? Jose Fernandez, right? Um, who else? Robinson Chirinos. Oh, I typed in Robinson. I got Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson has been mentioned 66 times in five episodes. Curious about Robinson Chirinos because I know he was in that episode. Oh, he has been mentioned at least five times, six times in that episode. So far, there's only two players we haven't unlocked in the top 10. One of them mentioned 67 times across 22 episodes. That's really interesting to me. 22 episodes. I think that's the most episodes. And then 70 and 4. So a very different distribution. So as I mentioned, I already did the Earl Weaver video around that time as well. I can guess Earl Weaver. He, he did play at some level. Uh, but no, he's a manager. It's a video about a manager. But we can guess Brooks Robinson. Ooh, no Brooks Robinson. Okay. Uh, we can guess Frank Robinson. No, no Frank Robinson. Interesting. We can guess Paul Blair. We can guess, ooh, can we guess Jim Palmer? Okay, so so not a lot of Orioles from that video. Okay, again, not sure if this is in perfect order. I'm not looking at the list of videos I've made. I should be able to remember them even though it's 56. I'm going to go for the Yankees center fielders episode next. So we can guess Earl, and by the way, Last name pronounced Coombs. I pronounced it Combs in the episode. I think it's really supposed to be pronounced Coombs as in like rhyming with tombs. Anyways, he's on the list. Five mentions in one episode. That's the bare minimum, folks. Who else? Mickey Mantle, right? Joe DiMaggio, right? Ricky Henderson. He's got to be ranked pretty high. Interesting. I just typed Ricky and it took Ricky. It knew exactly who I was talking about. Oh, no. No, it did not. It took Branch Ricky. That's very interesting. That's a very interesting thing. So Branch Ricky has been mentioned eight times across two episodes. I never would have guessed him. I never would have guessed him because, of course, I think of him as an executive. But that's that's good attention to detail. I can also guess Ricky Henderson for the uh, both the Yankees uh, outfield, center field video. And then he has his own video. Okay, so he's been mentioned 70 times across four episodes. Way to go, Ricky. Mickey Rivers, does he get enough mentions? No. Does Bobby Mercer get enough mentions in the Yankee center fielder? Nope. But you know who definitely does is Bernie Williams. Okay, that's our 70th. How about Brett Gardner? 71st. We can see Brett Gardner, six mentions in four episodes. Let's go Jason Dominguez. Nope. All right. Okay, did the Mark Burley video around this time in 2020 as well? Mark Burley, 48 mentions across three episodes. Who else would have come up in that video? Pedro Baez. Yep, he's on there. Nine mentions in one episode. Chris Sale, pretty sure we already guessed. Okay, how about, hmm, I think I'm done guessing on the Burley video. Also did the Barry Bonds video around this time. I've guessed Barry Bonds already. He's the second most mentioned player in the series, but we could start to guess some of the pitchers he was facing in that video. So in order, he faced Greg Olson. I think it's with two G's at the end there. Let's try all possible iterations. Okay, no Greg Olson. Uh, how about Troy Percival? Okay, Troy Percival's on the list. Okay, how about Eric Gagne for sure, right? How many times has Eric Gagne been mentioned? Okay, very impressive. Eric Gagne has been mentioned 18 times across three episodes. That is more than Derek Jeter. Uh, and then finally, Jake Peavy would be the other one. Oh, Jake Peavy's been mentioned five times? Six times, in fact, across two episodes. I feel bad because I probably could have sent you the script to most of these, and that probably would have made this a lot easier on you. Obviously, Hank Aaron would have probably come up in that episode. Hank Aaron has been mentioned nine times across five different episodes. All right, I'm done with the Bonds video. I also did a Joey Votto video around this time. I th I'm still thinking this is around before 
baseball actually started the season in 2020 so we can guess Joey Votto, who, Joey, come on, come host a podcast with me, Joey. I've mentioned you 31 times in four episodes, more than Mickey Mantle and Ted Williams, but less than old Haas Radborn. Christian Yelich also gets mentioned in that episode, me being hilariously wrong. Uh, Ten mentions in eight different episodes for Mr. Yelich. Who else could have come up with, like, Hans or Alberto? No. Would J.D. Martinez? No. Would Yoan Moncada? Okay, Yoan Moncada, six mentions, four episodes. Would Tim Anderson? No. Okay, there's also the video I made about the 2019 game between the Twins and the Yankees, so the main characters in that would have included D.D. Gregorius. D.D. six mentions, three episodes. Uh, Aaron Hicks. Okay, um, how about Chad Green? No. Okay, how about Max Kepler? Yep, okay. How about Miguel Sano? No. Okay, how about mm, Glaber Torres? Sure, Glaber Torres, 11 mentions, 3 episodes. How about even like a Mike Talkman? Sockman. Mike Talkman has been mentioned 8 times in 1 episode. I think in context, I was mentioning him alongside Gio Urshela, so I can guess Urshela. No? Okay. Uh, what about El Gary Sanchez? No? Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna guess Severino. No, okay, okay, I think, I think I'm done with that video. Wait, no, I'm gonna guess Mitch Garver. Okay, now now I'm really done. Been at it for 38 minutes now, and I still need 101 more players. But of course I'm recording, I'm working through it pretty slow for your entertainment. I made a lot of videos in 2020 because I basically didn't have a life, so I'm not sure if I'm actually remembering them all. Did do the Bryce Harper around this time. Bryce Harper already guessed 63 mentions. I already guess Mookie Betts would have been mentioned in that video as well. Um, was Aaron Nola? I mean, he, he got mentioned in there. No, no Aaron Nola. Okay, who else? Who else could have been in that video? Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce was in that video. Ooh, no Jay Bruce. Okay. This is hilarious because it's like, I bet I've forgotten at least one video I've made at this point, and that means that I forgot something I worked on for probably like three weeks. Okay, uh, I do remember the Glass Now video again. Already guessed him, but I guess Rich Hill would have also come up. And I feel like I've said Rich Hill's name enough. Nope, nope, no love for the Rich Hill. Okay, I think we're moving on now to the Miami Marlins episode, the 2020 Miami Marlins episode. So Jeter, already guessed him. Let's guess Miguel Rojas. No, okay. Uh, any love for Jazz? Nope, no five mentions for Jazz. Starling Marte. Okay, Starling Marte. Six mentions, three episodes. It helps if I can remember who I've just like made pixel art of. I think I forgot the Pedro video. I guess I made that in 2019, but I already have Pedro guessed, but I mean, Roger Clemens would have been mentioned in that episode. How many times have I mentioned Roger Clemens? I've mentioned Roger Clemens 14 times in four episodes, the same as Anthony Rendon. Probably Kurt Schilling as well, right? No, no five mentions for Kurt Schilling. Uh, left wing media bias confirmed. He doesn't have a baseball bit, so I guess Manny Ramirez would have also been in that episode, right? Nope, no five mentions for Manny Ramirez, just Manny being Manny. All right, I'm going to bring it back to 2020 now. I think the last video I made of that year was the accidental Hall of Famer, Bobby Wallace. So we can guess him. Bobby Wallace, 51 mentions across two episodes, but who else would have come up in that besides Fiscal? I think like Kirby Puckett and Jim Edmonds were in there. Kirby Puckett, no. How about Jim Edmonds? No. Oh, I also forgot my Willie Mays catch video from 2019. That's a shame. That's one of my better ones and more viewed ones. So we can go Willie Mays. Willie Mays has been mentioned 53 times across 11 episodes. Another player I remember being mentioned in that episode is Lorenzo Cain. So Lorenzo Cain, how many for him? Lorenzo Cain, eight mentions across three episodes, the same as King Griffey Jr., the same as the late Jose Fernandez. Um, I'm just going to guess Rogers Hornsby, just because, I mean, probably, right? No, no love for the Raja. All right, so I think we're into 2021 now. So by now, the episodes are starting to get a little more recent. Hopefully, I can crank out more players from these episodes. I think the first video I made for 2021 was the How to Fix MLB video. Fernando Tatis Jr. would have been mentioned in that video. 
He's been mentioned six times across four episodes. The only other player I can remember who I haven't guessed would be like Josh Donaldson, who has also been mentioned six times across four episodes. And then I did the Rocky Stink video. I've already guessed Trevor's story. I can also go Nolan Arenado here. Nolan Arenado, 24 mentions across four episodes. Some other players would have come up, and I can hopefully just do this quickly here. Herman Marquez. Oh, okay. I right, typed in Herman. I'm guessing it took Domingo Herman. Yes, okay. Domingo Herman, six mentions, one episode. But let's go Herman Marquez. Let's go John Gray. Let's go Ian Kinsler. No, not Ian Kinsler. Uh, Ian Desmond. Yeah, Ian Desmond. Sorry, Ian Kinsler. Uh, six mentions across two episodes for Ian Desmond. And then they signed Greg Holland and Wade Davis, right? Was that right? No, Greg Holland, Wade Davis. Yes, Wade Davis, six mentions, three episodes. You could also guess those guys because I have the Royals episode coming up eventually. All right, I think that's it for the Rocky Stink. Then that means I will move on to the Lucas Giolito episode. A very unique episode, the first time I ever worked with the subject matter. Uh, 32 mentions across three episodes for Mr. Giolito. The only other players who I can remember being <laughs> potentially mentioned in that episode would be like Chris Bubich and Mike Miner because they throw high. Oh, Mike Miner, though, because of the Jeff Mathis episode, too. Mike Miner, he's on the list. He's our 100th guy. Mike Miner, seven mentions across three episodes. We can also go for Lance Lynn for the same reason. He's a Jeff Mathis guy. Just forgot them. Okay, then I believe next would be the Dodgers bunting video. We've already guessed Clayton Kershaw, 57 and 9, but we can go for Hyunjin Ryu. 10 mentions in three episodes, as well as Kenta Maeda, if I can spell his name correctly. All right, we're at 103. What about, like, even some Cedric Mullins love? No? Okay, what about maybe so I know Sean Doolittle's in that. Sorry, Sean. Okay, we're going to do the championship win probability added episode. The star of that episode is Hal Smith. You might have missed it. You might have missed it. I Hal Smith definitely have mentioned five times. That's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Uh, let's go Bill Mazeroski. Yes. Mentioned Bill Mazeroski nine times across two episodes. I mean, Hal Smith is definitely should be on this list, but I think just a little mistake there. No problem. Uh, Joe Carter... No. Oh, Yogi Bear is in that episode. Yogi Bear, how many for him? It's going to be eight mentions in two episodes for Yogi Bear. Who pitched in those games? Did Bobby Shantz pitch in that game? Uh, did, like, was, what's his name? Bob Friend, something like that. About Vinegar Ben Mizell. What about, uh, oh my gosh, who was on that team? Dick Grote. Don Hoke. All right, I think that's all the guesses from that episode. What did I do after that? This was last year, I should remember. I guess I'm doing the Chris Davis and Molina videos now. I hope I didn't forget one from last year. Okay, so Chris Davis has been mentioned 47 times, but exclusively to one episode. And, and who else would come up in that episode? Rick Porcello, maybe, because I believe that's who he broke the streak first? Nope. I remember Eduardo Nunez being part of it defensively? No. Okay, that's it for the Chris Davis episode. I can't really think of anything else to guess. All right, the Yadier Molina episode. Obviously, Yadier Molina, right? Yadier Molina, 52 mentions across three episodes. We've got most of the top guys filled out here, but we still haven't figured out who's the 67 and 22. Jose Molina as well. Oh, no Jose, but, but how about Benji? Let's guess Benji. Oh, no Benji. Uh, Jason Kendall, I bet, gets at least five mentions in that episode. Yep. Jason Kendall, five mentions in that one episode. Have I just not guessed Andrew McCutcheon yet? I know I was trying to guess Daniel McCutcheon earlier. Okay, Andrew McCutcheon. Nine times in three episodes for Kutch. I'm so forgetting some of the stuff I made in 2021. I just know it. And that was last year. Okay, so later in the year, I did the Ricky video, and I did the Richard Blyer video. I guess we'll start the Ricky video. Already guessed Ricky. Very mentioned player, 70 times in four episodes. Uh, I can't remember what the catcher for the Blue Jays who called him a hot dog. Can't remember what his name is. Oh man, I totally forgot the Rod Barajas video. What am I? What am I doing here? Okay, we're gonna go Rod Barajas. How many times for Rod Barajas? Twenty-eight and one. Ryan Braun also a character in that video. He was stealing the bases off Rod Barajas. Eighteen and four for him. This reminds me of the Timmy and Tulo video, which I have forgotten. So that's that's a shame because I. That's a pretty good one. Tim Lincecum, 
Tim Linscombe, 40 mentions in three episodes. And then Troy Tulowitzki, 42 mentions in one episode. Other guys getting mentioned in an episode, probably like Corey Seager. No. Okay, how about Cal Ripken Jr.? No. Okay. All right, sorry. Back to the Ricky vid now. How about Dave Steeb? Yes. Five mentions in that one episode. How about Jimmy Key? No. Ooh, some of Ricky's teammates for sure, though, right? How about Carney? Was it with an E? Carney Lansford? Let's try it with an E. Yes, okay. He's a five and one guy. Who else? Who else? Who else? Maybe Hindu, Dave Henderson? No. Jose can. Wow, it. Seiko. I forgot how to spell it for a second. Jose Canseco, six mentions in that episode. Okay, we're moving past Ricky here. I think we're going Richard Blyer. We're over an hour here. We're at 116 out of 186. We're going to guess Richard Blyer. So Richard Blyer, 26 mentions across two episodes. Good for him. Two episodes. Who else would have come up with that? I don't know. Kimbrell? Let's go Kimbrell. I've mentioned Kimbrell at least five times. I probably mentioned Kenley five times. But I would be wrong to think that. Maybe some Adam Simber action or some TJ McFarland, not Fard, Farland action? No. Ooh, just remembered the DeGrom Hutchison vid. That was also in 2021, right? Okay, Jacob DeGrom has been mentioned 43 times in 11 episodes. The same amount of mentions as Mariano Rivera. Drew Hutchison has been mentioned 26 times in one episode. Okay, so in 2021, I think I did 10 episodes of Baseball Bits. Or maybe it was 11. Fix MLB, Rocky Stink, Giolito, Bunting, Championship Win Probability Added, uh, DeGrom, Hutchison, Davis, Molina, Henderson, Blyer. Yeah, okay, I think I've got 2021 because the last one would be the year of Otani. So year of Otani characters, we've got Otani, we've got Babe Ruth, but Bullet Rogan. Love to see Bullet Rogan making an appearance. Seven mentions in that one episode. You know, I mentioned him in the first video I ever made about Otani, but what about like Bob Carruthers? No, no Bob Carruthers. Just because I mentioned the strike zone in the Otani video and then I made the Aaron Judge video for Foolish Bailey along the same subject lines. I'm going to guess Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge has been mentioned 16 times across three episodes. Oh, what's funny is I'm doing the year of Otani, but I totally forgot about the week of Otani, which I made the previous year in 2020. One guy who would have come up in that video is Matt Olson. Matt Olson, seven mentions across two episodes. I think he homered off Corey Kluber, who's on the list, 12 and 3, and then also Cody Allen in that video. No Cody Allen. I know I'm jumping from place to place. I also just remembered the Cleveland Spiders video, which was another 2020 video. So I would include Cy Young. Oh, well, there you go. Cy Young, he's the 67 and 22. That makes sense. I mean, because any time I would have mentioned like a Cy Young award, that's a mention of his name. Uh, who else in that video? Jesse Burkett. Uh, Lave Cross. Okay, he's in there. Uh, Jack Quinn. No. Chief Zimmer. No. Eddie Cobb. No. Okay, that's it. That's it for the Cleveland Spiders. Oh, for the uh, Willie Mays video... I want, I'm going to guess Vic Wirtz because he's the one who hit the ball that resulted in the catch. It's funny how they all just started to come to me. I just remembered the Big Poppy David Ortiz retirement tour video, so I'm going to go for that. David Ortiz, 45 mentions across two. Another guy to mention in that video could have been like Shoeless Joe Jackson. No Shoeless Joe. This quiz really is just kind of how well do you know baseball bits, and I feel like I should know it pretty well considering I made it. All right. I think, unless I remember another video I made in 2019, 2020, or 2021, I think I'm on to the videos I've made this year, 2022. I think the Jackie Robinson video was the first video I made this year, and he has 66 mentions in five episodes, already been guessed, uh, but other players that would have come up, Josh Gibson, there you go, six and three, and then also Larry Doby, who would have also come up in that Willie Mays video because he's who Willie Mays prevented from scoring from second. So uh, Larry Doby, 12 mentions across two episodes of Baseball Bits. Joe Morgan would have also come up in that episode. Ooh, no. Okay, no Joe Morgan, five mentions. Wow, that's shocking. Maybe one of his Dodger teammates, Roy Campanella. Nope. 
Okay, after I did the Robinson video, I think I made the 2020 Mets video, so we're just going to list some guys off. Dominic Smith, Dom Smith, Jeff McNeil, no. Uh, Michael Conforto, no. Hmm. Pete Alonso, no. Robinson Cano, Cano. Uh, how about Brandon Nimmo? Uh-uh. Okay, I think I'm done with that Mets video. The next video I made would have been the Royal Ball video, a celebration of the 2014-2015 Royals. We've already guessed Lorenzo Cain. We've already guessed Greg Holland. We've already guessed Wade Davis, but there are still more guys we can guess. One of those is Terrence Gore. No to Terrence Gore. We can guess Gerard Dyson. Yes. Okay, we can guess Eric Hosmer. No. We can guess Kelvin Herrera. No. Uh, how about Moustakis? Uh-uh. It has become apparent to me that I'm not going to get all of these. What did I make after that freaking Royals video? So that so that Royals video, pretty sure that came out in May. So like, what, what did I put out in June? Oh, maybe that, okay, that Royals video was, I guess, April. And then May would have, Corbin Burns, right? Okay, Corbin Burns. Corbin Burns has been named 28 times in one episode. I've already guessed Rivera and Kenley Jansen. We were mentioned in that episode. Is there anyone else who have been mentioned in that episode? Dom Nunez hits a homer off of him. Ooh, speaking of hitting homers off guys like Jan Gomes, right? Yes, okay, Jan Gomes. Uh, Ten mentions in three episodes. He's come up weirdly often just a few times throughout Baseball Bits, maybe most famously for hitting the Gomer, the Gomes home run off Tyler Glasnow's curveball. Any chance I've mentioned Brandon Woodruff five times? Didn't think so either. Any chance I've mentioned Josh Hader five times? Yep. No, I'm just guessing Brewers pitchers. Okay, I think we're moving on to the umpire video. The umpire video that kind of reinvigorated my uh, channel for a bit there. Uh, let's go Kyle Schwarber. Would have probably been the main guy. No, okay. How about Chris Archer? No, okay. How about... Did Chad Cool start the Pat Hober game? And then I think we've already guessed Nola. Do I just get nothing from the umpire video? I get that it was about umpires. Let's just make sure. Pat Hoberg. No umpires. Okay. I mean, that's consistent. Colin McHugh? I think it's two L's. We can guess one. Yeah, I'm Yeah, I'm not getting anything from the umpire video. The Cleveland video, though. Different story. Jose Ramirez. Carlos Carrasco. No cookie. Mike Clevenger. Uh-uh. Oh, Carlos Santana for sure. Yeah. Andrew Miller. I don't think it would have been mentioned in that episode. What about, like, just Rajay Davis, right? No. Uh, Roberto Perez. Keep in mind, I've already guessed Lindor and Kluber. Okay, I think that's it for the Cleveland video, which means all that's really left is this uh, Greg Maddox video. So I've got 50 more guys to get. I'm sure they were all mentioned five times in the Greg Maddox video. Okay, real talk, though. Let's go Sammy Sosa. Ten times in four episodes. Let's go Mark Grace. Twelve times in two episodes. Let's go Sean Dunstan. Sean Dunstan six times in that episode. Maybe Michael Tucker. If we're looking for a Braves guy. Chipper Jones. You ever heard of Chipper Jones? Baseball Bits hasn't. I guess we can go with his teammates, Tom Glavin. No. How about John Smoltz? Oh. So I typed in John. We got Tommy John. Uh, I, that's, you know, what's so weird about Tommy John's name is like, when you say, when you say a name, you'd, you'd be like Tommy John. But when you say the surgery, you're like, he got Tommy John. It's something about the inflection and the emphasis is different. But anyways, uh, Tommy John, 10 mentions, four episodes, most of which deal primarily with the surgery that he's named after rather than the pitcher himself. Although he had a remarkable career, I think he should be in the hall of fame. But anyways, I was in the middle of guessing John Smoltz who has not been mentioned five times. Uh, Nolan Ryan appears in that episode. No Nolan Ryan. Maybe like a Satchel Page. I'm not even sure if I put him in that episode. No Satchel Page. All right, what's killing me for the most part is these two. This player has been mentioned 32 times across four episodes, and this one has been mentioned 30 times across nine episodes. I think there's a very high probability that these two players have episodes dedicated directly to them, and I've just forgotten that I made them 
Otherwise, the things when we get down here to 13 mentions in six episodes, I think that could be like a more of a, you know, an ancillary character. I feel compelled to guess David Fletcher, so I will. No David Fletcher. I'm just going to start guessing some really good players here to wrap things up. Adrian Beltre is a really good player, but he has not been mentioned five times. Johnny Bench, really good player. No. Mike Schmidt. Dick Allen. Matt Chapman. Arky Vaughn. Barry Larkin. Oh, Barry Larkin. Barry Larkin has been mentioned five times across two episodes. Jeff Kent. Frank Thomas. Lou Gehrig. No. Andrew Jones. Yes. Andrew Jones has been mentioned five times in four episodes. Ryan Howard. A couple more guesses from Yankee center fielders. Elmer Miller. Whitey Witt. Robin Roberts, Trevor Hoffman, Goose Gossage. Oh, I should guess for the Royals video, I should guess Alex Gordon. Okay. Alex Gordon, five mentions, two episodes. Jason Hayward. Jason Hayward, five mentions in five episodes. That's beautiful. That's beautiful right there. Buster Posey, Willie McCovey, Ryan Zimmerman, Steve Carlton, Ben Zobrist, maybe someday. Tom Seaver. You know what? I've been playing this for 97 minutes. <laughs> I'm I'm fatigued. I think, you know, I just don't think I can come up with too many more. I was really hoping to get to 150, but we're going to say 144 out of 186. That's my final. Really curious to see who this one is. 32 mentions in four episodes and 39 because this means most likely I made a video about Forgot Them. I downloaded pictures of their faces. I made pixel art of them. And then I forgot about them. All right. So uh, let's see here. We're going to give up on this quiz. All right. I got 77% of them. Let's see. Let's see. Felix. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Felix. I'm sorry. Jean-Carlo Stanton. Technically no dedicated episode for him. Although we did crown him the strikeout king. Uh, and I did totally forget about that episode. Okay, who else do we miss? Uh, DJ LeMay, who's been mentioned 13 times in six episodes. Bob Gibson, 12 and 6. Koufax, 12 and 6. Hal Smith, I just, yeah, I, you had a tough, you had a tough decision to make there. Uh, but there's Hal Smith, 12 and 1. Joey Gallo, 10. Reggie Jackson, 10. And then you can see the rest here. But these are all single-digit mentions. Michael McHenry, okay, the pitcher... I was saying at the beginning, I thought the catcher was named Daniel McCutcheon, but I think the pitcher was named Daniel McCutcheon, and the catcher, for the worst call ever, quote-unquote, Michael McHenry. All right, uh, Bartolo, I should have gotten that. Mark McGuire, Jim Tomei, there you go. There are your guys. Ronald Acuna Jr., sure. David Price, sure. Trevor Plouffe, oh no! Not Trevor Plouffe! All right, and here's the rest of it. So check it in on the quiz stats here. Uh, we're going to give this a serious small sample size alert. Only 27 plays, including my own. 69% uh, of the people who got this quiz got Giancarlo. I did not. 61% got Russell Martin. I did not. 50% got Mark McGuire. I did not. And 46% got Felix. And 46% got Eric Gonzalez. That's really good. Eric Gonzalez, I believe, had some hard hit balls off Giolito during that no-hitter. That's a great shout for that 46%. The ones that I got that no one else had gotten were Eric Gagne, Vic Wirtz, Bullet Rogan, Ian Desmond, Leif Cross, uh, Louis Aparicio, Sean Dunstan, Troy Percival, Barry Larkin, Carney Lansford, Earl Coombs. So there you go. And then the ones that uh, only one other person got, Branch Rickey, even though I got Branch Rickey on accident, Mike Talkman, Yasiel Puig, Domingo Herman. I also got Domingo Herman on accident, and then Jason Hayward. I'm also in here on the score distribution. I scored in the 99th percentile. I scored 144, I believe. Yes, 144 out of 186. It looks like before I actually took it, the high score was 126. So I did beat them. I do hold the record currently, although if that guy got 126, whoever you're out there, I feel like there is someone capable of getting 145. We'll just have to see. Absolutely fantastic work all around. I learned a lot. Once again, that quiz is in the description. Let me know how you did.